Welcome to another episode of Chat with Chino. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Jason Ramos with Good Vibes Real Estate Solutions. Welcome to another episode of Chat with Chat Chato. with Chato. Hey guys, how you doing? Wednesday again. We have another video going out for you guys today. Um, and you know, what are we gonna talk about today, Jay? Man, so, what do we have on the docket? You know, we talked about all the processes. We talked about how to get your first deal, how to deal with customers. But today we're gonna be talking about do you have what it takes to be a wholesaler, all right? And the reason why we're putting that out there is you need to know that this is for you when you when you're starting. There's so many aspects and so many moving pieces that go into the real estate and especially in the wholesaling business that you need to know that this is for you. Why is that important? So, right, so this this wholesaling game, people think it's pretty easy, right? You, you listen to some podcasts and they just make it seem like the easiest thing in the world. You go, you talk to a seller, you get a phenomenal deal, then all of a sudden you have a buyer, next thing you know you have a check for $20,000. Mm -hmm. um, that does happen occasionally. Right? Doesn't happen all the time. This is a long term game. It requires you to consistently, like I talked about last week, consistently go out and get deals. So if you were watching two weeks ago, if not, go back and look, it'll be linked in the bottom. Um, but if you were watching two weeks ago, we had uh, Marquise. Marquise, young kid, was 20 years old. And the main thing that this man had was tenacity. Oh, this yeah. This guy was passionate about getting his first deal done. Um, brand new in the business, you know, he really, really didn't have much experience. He said he heard of wholesaling when? Um, beginning of January, he found out what it was, and he already closed his first deal. He closed his first deal, and all he did was take massive action. So guys, anybody can do this. This is not an easy business, but it's very simple. If you learn, implement what you learn, take massive action, you'll be successful in this business. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Well, there's certain people that can't do this business. Why? Because they have reasons and they have excuses why they can't do the business. Why is right? that? Why? Because their head. Yeah. It's all like, it's all if you mind. allow the stories going on in your head about this business, right, and the fear that's in your head to hold you back, like this, this guy is 20 years old. 20 years old. 20 years old. And we had a member of our team, 21 years old, he cleared a $23,000 check because he was tenacious. He, he just went out there and he did it. You know, we wound him up, we gave him the guidance that he needed, he went out there and did it. He went, drove an hour away to a property in a neighborhood that's not the greatest either, and he didn't care. He put his little suit on, 21 years old, he talked the talk, he faked it till he made it, and he made the deal happen. So that's what we're gonna talk about. But I'm gonna get a little personal too, because for me, one of the things that I had to overcome when I was brand new in this business was my perception of what a salesperson is. All right? mm. I always had this thing back in my mind is a sleazy salesperson, always trying to sell you something, always trying to shyster, be a shyster and just trying to manipulate you out of something. And I never wanted to do that. So I had a problem with, you know, being that this is a people business, being that this is sales. It was like, no, I can't do this. I hate it. I hate salespeople and that mentality made me sit on the sidelines for a long time because I just couldn't get into the game because of that. I went through a lot of training to overcome like everything that I have inside of me that's holding me back. How many of you on this video right now, when you were younger, heard your parents say, I can't afford this, I can't afford mm -hmm. that, I'm broke, I'm broke. That is something that sticks with you all your life. And if you don't overcome that and change the thought process, you're gonna constantly be living in that, and that's something that I had to overcome. So now, right, I, I know you. So now, what is your context around being a salesperson? Okay, so me personally, it's not how much money can I get from this person selling this property, is how can I help this person? And that's what I had to do. So our first deal, when we, you know, our first deal, I don't know if we talked about it in this videos before, but it was a lady, you know, she, um, she had seventy thousand dollars in what? What was it? Medicaid liens. Medicare liens. Yeah, all sorts of crazy title issues Nursing that came homes up. homes and all this t type of stuff, and everybody passed on it. And nobody wanted it because the liens were way more than what the property was worth. And we took our time. We negotiated with Medicare. We negotiated with the lawyers. We negotiated with the state. We got those liens down to an amount where we were able to purchase the house from her. Mm -hmm. We helped her out where everybody else didn't. And the other thing is, though, with that, we have absolutely no experience in dealing with Medicare liens. Like, 
We got our Tuttle report back. Like we went, we locked it up. We got the Tuttle report back and that's where all these liens came up. We had absolutely no idea how to do that, how to handle that, what to do about it, right? But we figured it out. We winged it. We, we made it happen and we were tenacious about it. And I'm sitting there on the phone arguing with lawyers, like this lawyer didn't want to budge. Sitting there yelling at her like, hey, it, it costs more than what the property's worth. If we don't, if you don't take this, you know, if you don't take this payout, you're not going to get anything. So do you want to get something or nothing? Because if we walk away, nobody else is going to do it. And I was just yelling at her and it took about six months, but we got it to the closing table. We got it there. Everybody finally mm -hmm. got in line and we helped this lady out and she started crying. And to me, I was hooked. I was like, yep. wow, how many more people are out there that need this type of help? And that's what changed my whole mindset, changed my focus. And that's what Good Vibes is all about. That's our company. So Absolutely. once I made that switch mentally, we were able to help more people. And then it was just like, okay, I can do this now. So it went from how much money can I get from this person to how can I help this person? Everybody that we're helping in this business is somebody in need. All right. We're only dealing with about 5% of the real estate selling population. So they have a need. And that's what you're here to do. You're here to solve problems. And if you go with that context, you're going to be very successful in this business. Absolutely. So I just want to kind of reel it mm -hmm. back in a little bit, right? So our original question was, do you have what it takes to be involved in this business, right? Um, so my question to you is, when you, when you think about getting started, I mean, I'm assuming you're watching this video. I don't like to assume, but if you've been watching this video, you're probably interested in wholesaling. You're probably looking to figure out how to get started. So ask yourself, what is it that's holding you back from getting started? Do you not have enough information? You say, oh, I need to know everything. I need to get all the contracts lined up. I need my LLC, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Is that what's holding you back? Are you afraid of talking to sellers? Like, what are the things that are holding you back? And at, and at this point, you need to like figure out what those are. Ask yourself those questions, write down what those are. And then, you know, are you willing to overcome that fear, right? Are you willing to do what it takes to get a deal done? Because when you get your first check, there's something that clicks in your head. Right? When I got my first check, it's like, even though it wasn't a huge life-changing amount of money, it's like, we did it. Yeah. Right? We did it. It was a sense of accomplishment. And it, was. it becomes like, wow. Like, I, I now have the ability to go out and create value and get paid. Like, no matter what. With, you know, not worrying about a boss. Not worrying about, you know, am I going to get my hours next week? Or are they going to decrease my pay? Or am I going to get fired? It's like, I have the ability to go out and earn money no matter what. And it could be very sizable amounts of money. So like I was hooked, right, once we did that. Same here. And guys, keep this in mind. On the other side of all your fears that you have is that check. Is your so I want you all right now, I know that you know ten thousand dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money. If in some markets that's nothing. Some markets you're gonna make six figures, but think about it like this. If your first deal can bring you ten thousand dollars and on the other side of your fear is that $10,000 check. What are you going to do to break through those barriers, break through those obstacles and get that $10,000? Are you going to let something like, oh, I don't want to pick up the phone and talk to this person because I don't know what to say? Is that going to stop you from getting $10,000? you got to figure out what it is that's going to drive you to bust through that wall and get it. That's your money. Absolutely. That is yours. And then do it again and again and again. So we gave you tips on how to overcome your fear of talking to people. Pick up the phone and call Fizbo's. Just do it. Just do it. Just pick up the phone. That's the number one fear people have. Oh, I don't know what to say. Or there's a lot of people that, oh, I don't have all the knowledge. I don't have all the, I don't know everything. Guess what? We've been doing this a very long time. Do you know everything? No. We Far get surprises from it. all the time. <laughs> Far from it. All right. The only way you're going to learn is on the job. All right. Like we said before, our first deal, you know, we're negotiating with lawyers about Medicaid liens and you know, we had no clue about that, but you picked up the phone, we made the calls and we did it. So pick up the phone, make the calls and do it. <laughs> and Take action. It. It. Um, the other thing I'd like to touch on, right, is, and we probably have said it in the past, but try, don't try. Stop trying to get <laughs> something done in this business. Just do it, right? You try means nothing happens. You know, there's that famous Yoda quote, uh, Try, uh, do or do not, there is no try, something like that. Anyway, that being said, it's like you got to get your head straight. If your head's not right and you're not completely committed to this, like are you all in? Like really, if you're not all in, you might get a deal done. 
but you're not gonna build a business. Like you gotta really like put into it. You really gotta like live it. You gotta learn it, and you gotta be all in. Even if you're doing it on a on a time basis, part time, your head needs to be in it a hundred percent if you're gonna make this work. So it's up to you. Are you willing to make it work? It's up to you. So be consistent and be passionate about this. The people that are that are making money in this business are go getters. So if you have a fear of talking to people, either get over it or forget this business totally. Like this is sales. Bottom line is sales. You're selling to customers, sellers, you're dealing with buyers. Those are all sales pieces. You are the middleman, you're the ones that are bridging the gap. So mm -hmm. if you have a problem with sales, you need to get over that quickly. Or don't do this business. So just so you know. That's some truth. That Seriously, we do a meetup every month and we deal with newbies. And it's the same people year in, year out that are like, yes, I'm trying to get my deal. Yes, I'm still learning. Yes, I promise I'll have it. And they never do it. And it's that one fear that's holding them back. Just the fear of doing it. Absolutely. Just the fear of taking that first step. So get over it or get out. <laughs> that's it. You're not... <laughs> Either you are a wholesaler or you're not. You're not trying to be. You're not learning to be. You're either it or you're not. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> so that being said, right, what I'd like you guys to do, right, think about it. Answer that question. What's holding you back? What are your fears? Seriously. Put comments in the section below. Ask us questions in the comments. You can always reach us. Questions at goodvibesre.com. Uh, questions at goodvibesre.com. Shoot us an email. Uh, we're not going to get back to you within, you know, an hour, but we're going to get back to you, you know, and then help us have a conversation with you. It's not just us talking to a camera. As Marquise from that interview two weeks ago, like there's people out there that are actually watching this and implementing it and take action. Like, are you just entertained by chat with Chato or like, are you actually here to learn something and get value and like make something happen in your life? So... I'll leave you with that. And the beautiful thing is we actually got to meet some of our viewers live. We had our meetup and they were here. And just to hear the comments that they had and just like the admiration that they had for us, it was just like, wow, this is working. Even if we're able to help one person, and I'm talking to you, the one person that's watching right now that's stuck on the fence whether or not you're going to get started in this business, I'm talking to you. You got this. You can Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. We were there. I was there before. You know, I was scared as hell, but we did it. All right, so if you're scared and you're on the fence right now, get a partner. Do it together until you make it, all right? You got to do it. This is going to change your life. $10,000 check on the other side of that fear. Nice. Get it. All right, thank you guys very much. Another episode of Chat with Chatter. We'll see you next week. Next Take week. Take care. Thank you.